Hey guys, I am Glenn with Mr. Crafty Man, and this is my wife Paula Dean. Um, what we're <laughs> Hi, going guys. to be, I, I actually don't know exactly what she's going to be cooking today. Um, before we get started on that, uh, I want to mention again, um, in our Kidney Facebook group, which you can find um, in the description of this video, there's a link to it, and you click that, and that'll bring you to the group. Uh, I approve people multiple times a day, but in the group, um, I mentioned this last week, I'm seeing a lot of people who are taking the, the plant-based, like, quite literally a little bit too far. Plant-based doesn't mean that you can eat anything you want that's plant-based, because there's a lot of things that are not good for you that are plant-based. Like if you go to the frozen food section at the grocery store and look at the plant-based, um, pull something out and look at the label on the back of it. Um, the things that, that I show you that are plant-based, I've researched very well. Those are safe to eat, but there's a lot of things that just have a lot of preservatives and, and everything in it. But, I mean, you're not the only ones who think it's good for you and eat it anyway. Um, so once you get into the Facebook group, scroll through, you'll see my posts, the pictures of different things that, that I've posted that I eat that are good for you. Um, this video here we're actually making on Wednesday, but we're going to schedule it to be posted on Sunday. Um, the reason why is because we're going to be out of town this weekend. We're going to be in Boise. But what we're going to be doing while we're in Boise is we're going to be making a video um, where we're going out to eat and how we're selecting food that that's actually all right for you. Just because um, you've got these issues going on and you're eating plant-based doesn't mean that you can't go out to eat. Now I don't. I'm not saying that I go out to eat every day, but maybe once or twice a month. I'll go out to eat like with family or something like that so I'm not sitting home alone with my salad or something like that um, but I don't eat bad when I go out to eat and you're gonna see the the restaurants that we choose and the kinds of food that we eat so like I said I don't know what Paula Dean is uh, is cooking tonight but I'm gonna go ahead and let her take over and and uh, explain to you what's going on and she's gonna do her little demonstration Alrighty guys, so what I'm going to make for this evening, it is going to be Parmesan Angel Hair Pasta. So what I will do is add some extra virgin olive oil. So it's asking for a, a half a cup, but I'm only doing a fourth a cup. The reason why is I'm only making enough for him. So, I'm going to do a fourth a cup of olive oil. I'm going to let the olive oil heat up a little bit. Let's do that. And with that, I'm also going to add some garlic. We want garlic in here, lots of garlic. I love garlic, that's my favorite. So we're gonna add some garlic with this. And then we're just gonna let this simmer just a little bit. And just the smell of this alone the garlic and the olive oil is incredible all right so let's let this cook for a second let me actually turn it up a little bit so it goes a little bit quicker and this is going to be like one serving i really didn't measure a whole lot except for the olive oil and with the um garlic you can cut up as much as you like I don't think that's gonna hurt you as a matter of fact garlic is supposed to be good for you anyways so you may as well take advantage of that and what I'm going to use for the angel hair pasta 
I remember we talked about the organic angel hair. Um, this one is called Well Lean. It's plant based. It's got two grams of carbs, five calories, and two grams of fiber. There is no protein in this. So I would say go ahead and make a make one or two of them because I mean calories, you need calories anyways. And I'm thinking this is actually not too bad. It does have 12 milligrams of sodium, but that's still not that much. You should be just fine with that. So that's the angel hair pasta. And let's check on this real quick. Looks like it's what it's supposed to be. And this is that konjac, uh, the konjac uh, pasta that we bought on Amazon. All right, here we go. It is, now I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So we're just gonna keep cooking that for a second. Now, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could add in just a tiny bit of uh, whipping cream, the heavy cream, just for a little creaminess if you wanted to. But I think the olive oil does its job. So we'll do that. Now that this is pretty much cooking great, we're going to add in the angel hair pasta. And I already washed and rinsed it because it does need to be washed and rinsed. And then I let it sit for a minute. And then I'm just going to get my tongs real quick if I remember where I put them. Well, I guess I'm going to have to find some tongs somewhere. And this is her own little recipe. And I mentioned in our video uh, Sunday that I'm working on a book and that book is going to have everything that I have done inside of it plus a lot of extra information and then it's going to have tons and tons of plant-based recipes that are actually diabetic friendly. That's the biggest issue with the book that, uh, that I had been telling you that I used is there's nothing in it that's really diabetic friendly. You have to go through it and replace a lot of the ingredients in it. So my book will be coming out soon. I'll let all of you know when it, like right when it's getting ready to come out so you can snatch them up. Um, but everything in it is going to be diabetic friendly and kidney friendly. All right. So we have the olive oil. We have the garlic. We have the noodles, and now what we'll add is a little bit of Italian seasoning. You can use as much as you want, depending on your flavor. You can also use um, red pepper flakes if you want a little spiciness in it. I don't have those on hand, but if that's what you prefer, go right ahead. So I'm going to add some of the Italian seasoning to it. Oh Lord, mm, mm, mm. then we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. Just a tiny bit, maybe a tiny bit more. There we go, a little bit of salt. Okay. And I love pepper. I can see she's got some pepper in there, but Not yet. I'd like to add like a pinch more. I'll probably put a little more than that. All right, let's put some fresh black pepper, ground black pepper. And he does love his pepper. I don't, he does. I like my salt. Fortunately, we don't have a whole lot of salt these days. All right, so now we're gonna let this cook for a second longer. Oh, 
It smells so good. All right, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese with that. So we buy that Parmesan cheese at Walmart. It's called Follow Your Heart. It's dairy-free cheese, and it is vegan. So this particular one does not have any protein. It's got 20 calories. It's got two grams of carbohydrates. Um, let's see what it has on salt. I don't see anything in terms of the salt. Oh, it does have 85 grams of sodium. So you just have to be a little careful with it for two tablespoons. So let's get the tablespoon out. And a lot of you are like deathly afraid of sodium now and potassium as well. But what you'll so find is... Add, oops, real quick. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the Parmesan. What you'll find is your body needs sodium. Um, and typically I don't really, I, I, I have never traditionally put salt on anything except for french fries and popcorn. That's it. And a lack of sodium had actually caused some of my kidney issues also. So what we should be having is about 1500 uh, sodium a day. Now, if for some small chance you didn't have enough protein um, for the day, what you can do at Walmart in the vegan section, they sell the chicken, the frozen chicken in the vegan section. You can get a serving of that and then cut it up and just put a little bit on top and kind of heat it up with this. Um, but you, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And, and something that I like that's actually not bad for you at all well, is, you kind of. is the, uh, the Morningstar Farms plant-based bacon. And, but what's the protein in it? But what I like to do, I'll, I'll do this with my salad and I'll do it with, with other foods, is you cook it and you can just crumble it up like on top of your salad or, or we're going to put crumble it up and put it inside this. Then it'll be almost like a spaghetti carbonara. Yep. And there you go. This will be the meal. Okay, so let me give him... And something else I like to do, I usually get like a piece or two of that bread over here, that one uh, carp bread, put it in the toaster and make like a little garlic bread with it. Hold on. Because you're supposed Don't get the oil, to, just get the oil. supposed to have. But yeah, let's do that. Voila. This is her own recipe, so let's see how this turned out. Yeah, get all that garlic. I'm assuming get she's having there. garlic for dinner tonight also. Yeah, I am. Because normally when she feeds it to me, she hates the smell of garlic on people, so she'll eat it herself, so she thinks that she can't smell it if she eats it too. And you can't. At least I can't. Do you want to have... Uh, piece of bread with that. Does it need anything? It's pretty good. Um, with the konjac noodles, that the texture is not bad if you don't like it or, or if it seems a little off you can boil it, let it boil a little 
a little extra long. She didn't cook, she didn't boil it at all this time. I cooked it in the pan with yep. the olive oil. Yep, she just cooked it in the pan. It's already yep. soft when you get it, but I mean, you can boil it for a little bit if you'd like and then drain it and then put it in the pan. So it does say when you boil it, maybe for a couple minutes or so, because it is already pre-cooked pretty much. So maybe two minutes you can boil it. But what I did with that, I I just put it in a little uh, sifter, drainy thingy, and drained it, washed it really well, and then let it drain. And then I put it in here in the pan and cooked with it. Just as good. And this is pretty good. Um, so, when you start out plant-based, you'll be one of two people. You'll either be the person that all you're eating is salad, and then after about a week, you start getting really frustrated thinking that that's your life, that's all you're going to be able to eat for the rest of your life, or you'll be at the extreme end, hitting up that frozen food section at Walmart, buying everything that's plant-based inside there. What you actually need to, to be find a is... Not, not even a medium. You need to be leaning more towards purchasing the fresh vegetables and making everything yourself. Um, I am probably 95 to 98 percent buying everything fresh myself and and then either myself or Paula Dean will uh, will cook it um, and then that like five to like two to five percent is stuff like the plant-based bacon or I really like the Morningstar sausage patties they're not horrible for you either and those can really those or the bacon can really spice up a salad um, so we'll cook one of those till it's it's cooked real well a little bit crispy chop that up put it on a salad um, and then something that I do from time to time um, I'll put a couple croutons on and that's like a delicacy for me. But other than that, I mean, the, what we're eating here, let me see if I can... Zoom in. You know what, I think it stopped recording a while ago. What? No, it did not. Oh, come on. Oh, Tell no, it's still recording. I thought that it stopped oh, recording, my but it didn't. I was like, what the heck? Um, hey, everything in the world. I, for, I forgot to turn the monitor around, <laughs> and we don't, and we don't edit any of this. No, nope. we uh, we go ahead and and shoot and whatever whatever we record, you see. So this is what it turned out to be. Hey. That looks a lot like spaghetti carbonara. So that looks really good. Um, so she's happy that it didn't stop recording. <laughs> Nope. So, um, that is it for today. Um, we'll get a video this weekend uh, with a couple restaurants and then another video that I'm going to do reasonably soon. I want to do a video for people who have just found out yeah. that, uh, that they have uh, kidney disease or diabetes. I, I know how you feel because for probably five weeks I was like in hell. Um, so I'll basically talk to you about how I got through that and, and that sort of thing. But anyway, um, that is it for this week. I hope you like this recipe. I know a lot of you liked that vegetable masala. Um, and I wanna mention something about that vegetable masala really quick. So one of the things that I do with that vegetable vegetable masala, I showed you, and let me zoom in on this for those who haven't seen it yet. I have shown you these uh, these little carb counter, like street taco. They're like little flower um, flower shells. And these things here have zero carbs in them, zero net carbs. Um, they, it says that they have five grams of carbs, but five grams of dietary fiber. And remember, 
we subtract the fiber from the carbs. So since there's five carbs and five fibers, that means there's zero carbs. These here have practically nothing in them. Um, they're, they're not bad for you. This is basically kind of what I eat for bread, even more than that net one or the net two bread. And something that I've discovered, so anyway, what I do with these is I'll take one of these and I'll put vegetable masala in it and kind of roll it up and eat it like a burrito. That sounds weird, but I like it. Um, that keto bread um, that I had shown you guys, the problem that, I mean, the, the bread's not bad for you, but the problem that I have been having with it is for some reason, it's kind of difficult for me to swallow. Um, if you can, if you can eat it, that's fine. It's, this is this this keto white bread, um, and this stuff here has 12 carbs, but it has 11 11 fiber inside of it, which means it has one carb. It has no sugar. Each slice has four protein. But for some reason, just the texture of this. Um, if I'm not drinking something while I'm eating it, um, I go to swallow it and it doesn't seem to be making it all the way to my stomach. It's like it's building up in here. And like last week that was happening to me and I went into the bathroom and I felt like, almost like I had to burp or something. And I kind of burp and the bread starts coming out. So, and that wasn't the first time that had happened to me. So. I've kind of I've kind of stopped eating that, but anyway, um, that's that's it for this week. Um, we'll have that um, the restaurant video for you. Hopefully, we won't even wait until the weekend. We'll, or, or I mean, till next weekend, we'll get that up sometime next week. Um, so then, come Sunday, we can have our our regular video. So anyway, that was it. Um, we don't have a ton of subscribers or viewers. Um, so I would appreciate it if you would like subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, to, I don't get anything out of it, but it kind of makes me feel good to see that there's people that actually want to watch the videos. Um, but subscribe, like, if you got any questions, um, you can comment, but I would prefer that you join the Facebook group. Remember the link is down here in the description of the video. You can ask all the questions you want in there. There's over 700 people, almost 800 people in that group that are going through the exact same thing as you are. Um, it's a great place to network and, and get support and answers to questions and everything. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.